the unforgotten tennis. It was time for a table tennis lesson. Looking at the students who were holding rackets to prepare for class, Mike was dumbstruck because his rackets disappeared. Last night, his mother helped him put the stuff in the school bag besides the racket. He checked the bag again. There were no rackets for sure. Well, well, well. There is another one that has to go empty-handed like me, so I am not the only one to be punished. Max or Scout does not have a racket neither. Finally, Mr. Tiger, their PE teacher, punished them to pick up the ball for not brought rackets to the class. Countless balls were falling around like pouring rain. Mac and Scott bent over to pick them up. After the class, both of them were sweating. The two boys lay on the grass to relax, holding a can of Pepsi, and then started complaining. "Does your mother forget to pack the racket for you as well?" Scott asked. "If my mother had checked it before I came to school." I would not have been here. So freaking tired, Max said angrily. Hey, how do you feel, boys? The PE teacher walked to them. Then why did you forget your racket? Mr. Tiger asked again. Because my mother didn't put the racket for me. Correct. Mike and Scott both blamed their mother. Hey, James. Come over, Mr. Tiger called James over, another student from the same class, and asked, "Why did you remember to bring your racket?" James did not understand the question, but still answers, "Because I do it by myself." Mr. Tiger looked at them and did not say anything else. Mac and Scott were deep in thought. When Mac went back home, he did not say even a word. His mother heard it from the teacher and educated him. From now on, you need to learn to pack your stuff. Mac did not say anything because he knew that he did not take a stand on it. The next day, before going to school, Mac checked his textbook, homework. And other accessories that are related to the craft class. In the class, Mac was a few of them that prepared everything and was praised by the teacher. Mac was very happy and swore that he would continue cleaning up his stuff so that he wouldn't forget them. We naturally become more independent as we progress through life. Moving away from our parents, and any bonds that once sustained us from childhood into the real world.